Hey, today is a special request for Jake Rushing. This is for, for June, actually, Jake. Give me another request for this month. This is uh, Dream Theater, and it's called, um, what's it called? Breaking All Illusions. So I'm just going to jump right in. I don't think we need an introduction when it comes to Dream Theater. Here we go. <laughs> There's some serious key, uh, not key changes, so uh, tempo, not tempo changes, what am I trying to say? Um, hard to talk and listen to music at the same time. Time, time signature changes. other place is nothing to grab onto quick too quickly here just going for the ride Taking the idea of illusions and creating sort of illusions in the music, so the backwards piano, sort of haunting sound. Yeah. 
sort of like they're, they're kind of like sometimes they're like rushed but they're like taking it way farther they're really they really challenge themselves so.
guys are like Elon Musk's of Bob, you know? <laughs> SpaceX. So here, this is pretty straightforward. Anyone can hear this and follow it. Reacting to the new Rush, not new Rush, the new Yes song that came out the Ice Bridge. I wish these guys would produce Yes. Because Yes has become so pop. It's turned into such pop, pop music that it uh, doesn't, doesn't resemble the classic Yes, but you bring Dream Theater into the studio and they'll. They will just spark the prog rock soul in these musicians and, and they would probably help Yes make a really amazing record. Because now I'm curious, does... Dream Theater produce themselves all the time, or do they have somebody they bring in and produce them? That's always interesting, bringing a producer into the picture, into the mix. It can really, um, it can really bring out uh, something different uh, in in the band. You know, that's uh, I think sometimes a producer's job is if they see the band is brilliant to just stand back and help nurture that and bring out what it is that the band's trying to bring out. But then uh, that would be kind of a newer band. But when you're an older band and you've been making records for five decades, uh, I think you should bring in producers who are like uh, going to help you um, see the f forest for the trees or the trees for the forest, whichever way. Sort of like, um, you know, if you've been making progressive music, uh, you know, and you used to do really edgy, amazing, creative, innovative stuff, and now you're doing stuff that's very poppy and kind of kind of dull by comparison although it's okay but uh, the dream theater is, is just full of uh they're just live firecrackers these guys they're all just a bunch of uh, uh elon musks on their instruments they know they have a, an amazing um capacity for just the sheer volume of complex compositions complex uh uh, changes just just uh you know things you have to you have to memorize the whole song and there's a lot to memorize and i love it i love it uh, this song i love this song this is great you know i'm hungry and thirsty for new new progressive ideas uh it's a little disappointing when you know your favorite band r releases something that's really um i don't know just not exciting it's not exciting it's good and fun and i really enjoyed i kept listening to it on repeat for like five times in a row the new yes single uh ice bridge or whatever i just put it on over and over it's really fun to listen to i mean i love steve howe and all these uh legends to me but then i listened to this today and this is like uh bleeding edge just constantly pushing limits make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed because there's so much interesting things happening here. We're a wonderful community of people. Check out the comments below on my videos. Just amazing in-depth discussions going on. Very inspiring to me. Spiraling out, it's Dean. Talk to you later.